Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about buying a dog or a puppy online and what to look out for because sadly there are a lot of scammers out there and they're just after your money. Oh, right on the lips. Stay tuned to the end of the video though because there will be video of me actually talking with real scammers. I did want to mention that I am totally for anyone buying a dog from your local shelter or your rescue or getting a dog from online but from a responsible breeder. I did want to make a note of that. So if you are looking for a dog online, I do recommend going to your local shelter first and checking out what they have. You never know, they might have exactly what you're looking for. But if you do have your heart set on a specific breed of dog that would work well for you and you have already checked your shelter and there's nothing there for you, I am totally for you buying a dog or a puppy online as long as you do your research and make sure you're buying from a responsible breeder. Tip number one is to be aware. And by clicking on this video and watching on watching on this watching this video, obviously you are already aware somewhat of what's out there and the dangers of buying a puppy online. But I do just want to mention in the very first tip that there are people out there just trying to get your money and they don't even have the dog or the puppy that you're interested in, most of the times they just steal other people's pictures and act like they have that dog or puppy. So do be aware that scammers are out there and they are just after your money. Tip number two is don't feel bad asking a lot of questions. A real breeder is going to welcome your questions and want you to ask a lot of questions about the dog because that makes the breeder feel like their puppy is going to somebody who's going to take care of them. Scammers will try to just avoid your questions or if you ask a couple questions, they'll just answer one and try to get you going, keep you on the hook. But scammers don't like you asking a lot of questions. They just want here's the facts you can ask a couple questions and then get to the point and let's make a deal or whatever they say but scammers don't like you asking questions and real breeders will be okay with no matter if you have one question or 50 questions don't ever feel bad asking questions especially when buying a puppy online tip number three is to call and speak with them uh, scammers like to deal only through texts and emails and they're not going to want to talk at talk at. <laughs> I can't talk today. So, um, scammers don't want to talk on the phone though. Usually they'll try to do anything they can without having to talk on the phone, whether it's text or email. Uh, the scammer that I spoke with, they just wanted to deal through email and it was like a last resort thing that I did call them. A lot of people catch on when people, scammers call them because something's off or fishy. So if you can, get a hold of them, call them, especially here's a big tip in this try to facetime them see if you can facetime them and the puppy if they say no i don't want to call or no you can't facetime or give you any excuses just run away from that situation because if they're not willing to talk on the phone or facetime with you and the puppy um, that's a big red flag and i would just stay clear of that whole situation tip number four is to listen to the breeder or the seller when you do call if you are able to get a hold of them but listen to their voice they should sound like they're from your area and if they have an accent or if they sound like they're from somewhere else just be really careful I'm not saying people with accents are bad or if somebody has an accent they shouldn't be breeding dogs or anything like that I believe you should love and respect everyone but just as a caution, precaution, whatever the word is, buying a puppy online, if they say they're from your area, um, they should sound like they're from your area. The clip that I'll roll here in a second is the scammer that was trying to scam me, but I knew it was a scam. He said he was from Montana. The ad was in Chicago, and when I contacted him, he had said he moved to Montana, but he, you, you can tell in the clip that I'll roll here in a second that he does not sound at all like he's from Chicago or Montana. Um, and not saying that, again, not saying that people with accents or because they sound different than what I sound like, they're bad at all. No matter where you are, if that person doesn't sound like they're from your area or they don't speak your language, you should be careful and very cautious of that. So I'll go ahead and roll the clip of me talking with this scammer and show you kind of what they sounded like and what they were saying. Hello? 
Hi, are you the one that has the dash home puppies? Yeah, 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 that's my ramp. I'm the owner of the commercial property. We just see me. Can you please reply to the email? Yeah, yeah, okay, yep. I'll go ahead and answer the email. Um, and you said you're located in yeah. Montana? Yeah, we are located in Montana. If you are willing to pay for the transportation, then that would be okay. We can get everything set to the end. We can transport that to you over today. Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you can transfer them right to me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just keep that. Just keep that. And I'll get back email? to you as soon as possible. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and email you. Thank you. Tip number five is to carefully read the texts or emails that um, the breeders or sellers send you. It kind of goes along with tip number four. Um, but if they don't use correct grammar, that's a big red flag. Um, I'll probably put in one of the clips here or a picture on the side. You can kind of tell that they don't use correct grammar and that it sounds a little bit off. If you're trying to piece together what this person is trying to say or trying to get across to you, I would definitely put that in the red flag category and not mess with it. Because it's one thing for a person to mess up on an email or not put in the right word but if you're trying to piece together the email and you don't really know what they're saying or it doesn't really make sense it's probably a scam okay so this next tip is a really good one so make sure you're listening tip number six is scammers usually ask for money pretty quickly they like to say okay here's the dog and here's what it's about and they'll usually ask you like how are you going to take care of this dog and how can i know it's going to be in a good home and real breeders don't ask questions like that they may say something like, do you have any other dogs or have you, do you have any experience with dogs or this kind of dog, but real breeders are not going to ask you, how do I know you're going to take care of this puppy? Scammers will. Scammers like to use Western Union banks, um, money orders, Walmart cards is what they usually say and they say, we don't accept cash or card. Breeders like to use PayPal to send a deposit to hold the puppy um, or cash. You can always pay in cash or a check, a personal check. They will accept that, but scammers will not. Tip number seven is to ask to see the puppy in person. I live in Michigan, so let's say this guy was in Montana. I would still ask, hey, can I see this puppy in person? Can I fly out? And in the email he sent, he does say, it's a 16 hour drive from where you live in Michigan. So that was kind of creepy, but um, so he knew that I wasn't going to drive out there to see it. Even if they're far away, still ask if you can come out and see the puppy. If they say, no, you can't come out and see the puppy or give any excuses, don't buy the puppy. You're either buying from a scammer or a puppy mill and you don't want to deal with either of those because those are both terrible, terrible things. Tip number eight is to research the price, the average price of the puppy or dog that you're looking at. See how much the average dog of that breed costs. Because the saying goes, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. And that is so true for buying a dog or a puppy online. Scammers love to use, this dog is free, just pay shipping, or this dog is only $100 and you have to, I, you have to cover the plane ticket for me to ship this dog to you, that's one of Scammer's favorite things to say. The Scammer that I was dealing with, he said he was in Chicago and that he just moved to Montana and he just wanted to find the dogs a good home and they're free, I just have to pay the shipping which is $400 or the air ticket, plane ticket thing, which is $400. So it kind of like makes you wonder though, if he really did move to Montana and he really is just looking for a good home for these dogs. He doesn't know me. Why doesn't he list them in his area? So scammers are really, they're really smart. Please make sure you're staying away from the people who say, we just moved and this is a really good dog and we're just gonna give it to you for free. You just have to pay the plane ticket because you're gonna pay that plane ticket and you're never gonna see that puppy. Tip number nine is really important and that is to ask for the name and number of their vet. Because if they say, well, we just do our own shots and we do everything ourselves, that's totally fine if they do their own shots on the puppies. 
but they should have an emergency vet for their adult dogs. Adult dogs need rabies shots every year and you can't do that yourself. That's something a vet, a licensed veterinarian has to do. So if they say we don't have a vet or we don't have a name and number to a vet because we do everything ourselves, you do not want to buy a puppy from them. They're either a scammer and trying to take your money or it's a puppy mill and you do not want to buy a dog from a puppy mill or from a scammer because if you get a dog from a puppy mill, it's probably gonna be sick. And if you get a dog from a scammer, you won't get a dog from a scammer because they are obviously just scamming you and they don't have a puppy so you'll just waste your money and either situation is really bad so just don't do it. If anything seems off and you're just a little bit suspicious about anything, ask for that breeder's first and last name and then call that vet if they do give you the name and number to their vet and tell whoever you speak with, tell them their first and last name of the breeder and tell them you're interested in buying a puppy from them but you wanna do a little bit of research and make sure that they take care of their dogs and ask when was the last time they had their dog in, was it healthy? All those questions are gonna be really good questions for you not to get scammed and not to buy a sick puppy. Do you like this shirt? See, it's got puppy paw prints on it and it is so cute I couldn't pass it up. Tip number 10 is probably the best tip I have for you in this whole video and that is to ask for more pictures but be specific. One awesome thing to do if you're kind of not sure that it's a scammer or maybe it is a real breeder and everything seems right but you have just you know that feeling that something's off is ask for more pictures and the best thing to do is ask the breeder to take a piece of paper and write your first and last name and your phone number on it and then have them take a picture of the puppy from the front view with the piece of paper in behind and then from the side view with that same piece of paper and from behind with that same piece of paper in the background. And usually scammers already have the pictures and they've already sent them to you. So you're gonna be able to tell if they've just photoshopped that picture in there and it's not a new picture. Okay, that is it for this video. If you found it helpful at all, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been scammed or almost been scammed when buying a puppy or a dog or anything really online, let me know about it. Also, hit that subscribe button if you want to watch more really cool dog and puppy videos because my next video is going to have a bunch of adorable, cute little puppies. So if you like puppies, and you like dog videos or you have a dog or you're thinking about getting a dog, any of those things, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can know when my next video comes out. I'll be uploading videos every week now, so make sure to stay tuned in. That's it for this video. Bye guys. If you poop on that floor, oh, you're just laying down. You can do that, that's fine. <laughs>